Well, good day, and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hey, I hope to earn your subscription today doing some metal detecting. I am down at Gord Downey Pier. I'm out here today to see what these Queen students may have dropped. Screw you, dude. Big shout out to James. James has launched the Kingston Dirt Diggers Facebook page. There will be a link in the description for that. Uh, all kinds of good local digging. Hit that like button and join up. We'll be doing a lot of stuff next year as well. So I'll see you down at the pier. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all. Oh, and this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe You can do anything Here we are down at the pier The wind is just howling So I apologize for the audio in advance this artificial beach should yield something for me today. Wish me luck. All right, we've got our first signal down here in the sand. All right, piece of electrical wire. Well, at least we know we're banging on the copper. And there's cool formation of planes up there. I imagine this is a Remembrance Day thing. Very cool. We got some crazy shallow signals right on the edge here. Oh, I could have saw that one coming. Our first pull tab of the day. And we've got a couple other shallow signals right along the edge of the break here. I sees ya. Ooh, that's interesting. Half of a pull tab. No friggin' way. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is that a... No way. No friggin' way. I was gonna bail on this spot. I am glad I did not bail. No friggin' way. This is why I dragged my ass out of bed on my day off to come and look for it. There's no way that's real. I, I'm not gonna rule anything out yet. Holy shit. I gotta get this tested. Super stoked. Yes! Signal, high 60s, high 70s. Ooh, something. Holy shit. Oh, it's a foil. I had gold in my eyes, but it is foil, sadly. I seize it. I have located the target, and it is not exciting. Part of the gig. Take the trash with the treasure. Ew. Friggin' sock, y'all. That socks. I seize it. Ooh, pink pull tab. Well, that's different. Hey, hey, hey. I know what that is. That is a high pressure needle for filling sports balls. Pull tab orama. Oh. What the heck? What have we got here? Is that a is that a ring? Is that 
earring? No. Tiny magician's hoops. Well, that's interesting. Let's see if we can see a mark anywhere on here. No, no marks. I don't believe these are silver. I'm not even sure if this is jewelry. Interesting find. He's in the scoop. I see a coin. I see a dime. Can't read the year, but we've got a modern dime. Ooh, 99. Right shallow, too. Oh. Let's cross our fingers, good people. Hello, mister. It's a car's car. Jeepers. I believe that is Lightning McQueen, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. All right. I'll put him in the bag. We've got a sweet little signal here, right near the edge of the wall. In the scoop. What have we got? A multicolor pull tab now. No, we do not. We have a tiny pearl, which I believe is fake as all heck. Still a cool find. That was unexpected. It does feel gritty on my teeth, so I'm not sure on that one. I'll take a closer look later. Onward. Hey, 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 another dime with a neat little rust spot on it. That's interesting. I've had so many people stop and ask me if I found anything cool. It's really nice to experience the social end of this. I've had three people say, oh, I've always wanted to try that. And I tell them, friggin' do it. It's addictive. You'll love it. This is my game to play to claim a brand new name, oh. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done. But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? With sand on his knee pads and adventure in his heart. I see it. Oh. What the heck? Parker and Co. A Parker and Co. dog tag. That's kind of cool. I could see a dog just going bonkers on this beach area. Let's party! That's an interesting signal. Actually legit. Legit indeed. Hey, gold from the beach. We've got a loony. I think it's 1989, but I'm having a hard time reading that one. Anyway, a buck is a buck. A lot of pull tabs, a lot of foil here, which I always know going in to expect. But man, all I can think about is going to get that diamond checked out. Well, I can feel the raindrops starting to hit me in the head. I can just see the rain coming across the big lake there. I'll see you back at home base and we'll have a look at what we found today. And here is my haul today from Gord Downey Pier here in Kingston, Ontario. One of the first things I saw laying on the ground was this burnt sparkler here, just chucked on the sand. As well today, as you can see, plenty of pull tabs. Almost dubbed pull tab arama, but I don't believe that is my record for one dig, believe it or not. These things are everywhere. My first find of the day was actually this electrical wire. Um, I have a couple pieces of scrap steel here. Something got torn up. We have a car's car. I believe that's Lightning McQueen. He's looking a little bit more cleaned up now uh, since being pulled out of the sand there. And a small piece of gold foil here. Had my heart jump for a second when I saw gold poking out through the sand in my hand. A uh, high pressure needle air valve or air needle. And I've got a dog tag here, which is from... Parker and Company. I found a modern loony from 1989 in pretty decent shape and in shallow sand. Two dimes as well, one of which has a bit of a rust mark on it there. I'm not sure what's going on with that yet. This was a surface find out there today, and it is a ring made of three rings. 
Just three attached rings, and I don't believe they're silver. Maybe that's worth further testing. Last but not least, I found these two beauties. The pearl has kind of a seam around it, so I really doubt that is uh, legit. But it does feel gritty on my, the edge of my tooth, which I did test. I want to say it's fake, but may look further into that. And without further ado, I would like to know just as badly as you do, is this diamond legit? We're going to go find out where they have a diamond tester. I'll meet you there. Well, that is a drag. It's not a real diamond, like that one. They used the diamond tester on my find, and it is not real. <laughs> it was still cool to find, and it'll look cool in the treasure box. So I'm gonna keep hunting and keep digging until I find some real gold or a real diamond. So hit like if you enjoyed the video today, and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hope to see you again. And we all got dreams, we all want things, but what you gonna do for hype?